There's a lot of things behind the scenes that players go through. Fans, they don't realize that the players suffer too. I had two herniated discs. I had to get an epidural on Friday, actually, before the game. I couldn't even walk. But when I stepped on the box, I didn't feel anything. It was uh, unforgettable. With nobody out in the eighth inning, bases loaded, Joe Madden wants to bring in a Rollis Chapman. They have really good momentum going, and that's what you're afraid of. Ball game on the line, the Cub lead is 3-1. Because something bad's coming down. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Out number one. I guess you best pitcher, the best closer in the game. Swing and a miss, strike three. Out number two. And they tie the ball game. That's in the center field, the base hit. One run scores. Fowler can't make the play. This game is tied. You know, they're feeling sexy about themselves right now, and they're probably going to come back and beat us. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Cubs will have Zobrist and Russell and Hayward do up. Whether we were up big, whether we were down big that season, we always went up there to compete, and that's the way I feel like we were able to respond so quickly. So risk with a 1-1 count. Tie game. That's into the gap and right center field. And here come the Cubs. So risk with a leadoff double. You see that happen at your home field. You get some momentum back right away. Come on. Let's go. Addison Russell at the plate. The Dodger defense anticipating a bunt. Back in the days, for sure he was bunting. But base was changing a little bit. They're going to probably throw more sliders so they have him try to roll a ground ball. Ground ball to third. It's gloved by Turner, holding the runner at second and throwing out Russell. Got it out front, hold the runner at second, one out. I mean, we got to score. Dave Roberts to the mound. Let's talk strategy. Dave Roberts is looking at it, you know, I had a triple earlier in the game off of Variety. They're going to walk it. Yeah, they're, they're going to walk Aver. But also, I feel like he might have been looking at my late in the game numbers with runners in scoring position and saying, you know, I don't want to take a chance here. Now, this surprises me. If I put Hayward on, we got a chance to turn a double play. We get a force out at least and take some pressure off. There's no doubt that a part of the conversation is where Chapman is. And also, Dave's probably thinking ahead, thinking if we do go an inning after this one, then they feel like they got a good chance knocking Chapman out of the game. So there's just a lot of things happening. Two on, one out. A double, a ground out, the intentional walk. But by putting Hayward on, you now have to pitch the bias. You know Javi is going to see sliders from Blount. You know, if I get into it, like with the crowd, I get I get too jumpy to the ball. Popped up right side. Will it stay and play a will? A big second out. Just missed it. That was my pitch, and I missed it because I thought I was gonna cut more and kind of drop my hands and just got under it. It'll be Coughlin to face the right-hander Blanton. On deck is Aroldis Chapman, by the way. I think that was probably the most important moment in that series. Dodgers want Chapman out of the game. How, do, how are they going to do that? This is interesting because if you pitch around Coughlin, you're going to get Chapman out of the game. And they are going to walk him. And Dave Roberts is going to force the hand here of Joe Madden. At that point, exactly, that's when Joe tells me, like, you're going to go on deck because they're going to walk Coughlin to load the bases. So you're going to go out there, pinch it for Chapman. And then Martinez is going to bring the lefty for you. Then I'm going to burn you. I'm going to take you out, and I'm going to bring Contreras because I want Contreras to be hitting against this guy. I'm like, that sounds like a plan. Montero has come into the on-deck circle. 
once he is announced, then Dave Roberts has a decision to make whether to stay with Blanton or bring in the lefty, which would prompt a counter move by Joe Madden. So they walk the guy. Now I walk in, they announce me, I look to the bench, thinking like, am I hitting? Am I not? What's going on here? And let's see if Dave Roberts goes for the lefty. I don't see they bring in the lefty. I'm like, Joe, do you still want me to hit? Or what do you what do you want me to do here now? And he goes like, no, no, go hit. I'm like, all right. I went ahead. What a lot of fans may not know, Miguel Montero had just been given an epidural two days before this. He really wasn't even supposed to be in the game. And I think Dave Roberts called Joe's bluff right there. I was in the hot tub until like the fifth inning. I had everybody working on me prior to that AB, like the, the trainers and all that. Didn't feel great, but I'm like, you know, like, I'd be able to battle a little bit and, and in an, only an emergency case. Only extremely emergency case. That would be the only situation I can come in. And, well, I got out a little bit quicker than what I thought. For Montero, even though it's the matchup you want righty against lefty, he has not fared well this year. I, I didn't have a good year. And at this point, honestly, I'm a really bad pinch hitter. On the other hand, Joe Blatner had a really good success against me. I never felt he was that nasty, but he always got me out. He had my numbers for sure. So it was a good move by the manager, but I hated the fact that they walked the guy and he really bothered me that Joe really don't want me to hit. So I'm like, I'm gonna prove all of you guys, you guys are wrong. You don't load the bases to face Miggy though. Game on the line, bases loaded, two out. Miguel Montero could be a hero tonight in game one. I know this guy's gonna throw me off pitch, so I'm like, just see ball a little bit up, just whack it. And the pitch to Montero, check swing, foul back. Swing in the bat, it hurt, yes, a lot. And I just try to trick myself mentally. The pain will go away in this situation, it's always gonna stay forever. Strike two. That was one Montero would like to have back. It was supposed to break middle in, but he backed off, so he went the other way. I'm like, oh my God, that was the pitch to hit, and I missed it. Blanton was like, man, I got away with that pitch. So I'm thinking, I got two strikes, just choke up a little bit and make something happen. Here comes the 0-2. When I hit it, I was like, it's way, way gone. I'm like, take that. I drive into right back at the wall and it's gone! I knew that was it. <laughs> I knew that was a grand slam. Montero drives one in the air! Deep right field! It's got a chance! As soon as he made contact, everybody got up in the dugout. I'm the man here. I'm gonna get this done. I thought about doing the Kirk Gibson thing. It gives me chills just watching it. These two managers were making some great chess moves and maybe he came out on top with this one. That was one of the biggest moments that brought Miggy into the love of the fans. It meant a lot to me. That homer is gonna stick here forever, right? Does anybody remember the homer after that? Fowler charges one into right. We were celebrating, and all of a sudden we see Dexter running the bases. We're like, what, 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 what just happened? Back to back. I hit a homer. They're like. Okay, great. 
Yeah, that's, that's too bad for him. It was a back-to-back. -back. 